Let's take a look at probably the most exciting feature we have in this plane, the panel. I'm going to go to the uh, cockpit view. So for the first time, we have a dynamic configurable instrument panel, 3D instrument panel. Uh, this dynamic panel page comes with a number of presets. We can step through each preset by going over panel preset and scrolling the mouse wheel. And so here, the default one, uh, we just have analog gauges, some uh, Garmin units, turn those on. Uh, if we go to preset two, we have an Aspen EFD 1000, which is pretty neat. It's a digital display, um, kind of like a miniature glass panel with a reversionary mode. It has um, attitude, airspeed, altitude on top, various info, graphics, and uh, an EHSI on the bottom. Uh, there's more detail in the manual about how to use it, but it's pretty exciting to have this available in the PC6. Um, additionally, step through another preset, we have uh, another older panel, and we have some presets designed for the Reality XP GTN 750 for those of you who have that. Uh, it's installed in place of the normal Garmin uh, GNS 430 530 units. Uh, additionally, we can change the panel background texture. So we've got a couple of those that the plane will launch with. Now, <laughs> the really cool part, we can actually move these instruments around. So first of all, let's make a new preset just so that we're not gonna mess up any of the existing ones. So we'll start with this one. We can go down here to add, du add or duplicate panel index. So I'm gonna click on that. So now we're on panel preset five, which is currently identical. We can click enable 3D panel edit mode. So now each of these instruments has a number of click spots. The middle one lets us click and drag. We can just move it around to swap position. Um, we also have some click spots to adjust the uh, tilt of the instrument, uh, move it in and out in the Z axis, and also uh, rotate the instrument. Um, and we can turn instruments on and off as needed. This plane comes with, uh, and that's in the individual instruments tab, comes with a library of about 44 instruments, I think, to start. And there are a whole bunch, all the normal ones and some not so normal ones, uh, including the physical checklist that JARS uses on their PC6s. Um, so these can be toggled on and off. We see active instrument number 29 on. I can just click off and it goes away. Uh, so this allows you to fully customize your instrument panels. Uh, that's how we made these different presets. Um, this first one, the one with the Aspen, et cetera. These are all just a library of instruments available that we can click and drag and move around and reposition. So now that I've repositioned these two instruments, if I were to change preset and go back, we see they actually swap position back to how they were. So you need to save it. So I'm gonna enable edit mode again. I'm gonna move the attitude indicator over there for some reason, move the airspeed there. Um, and maybe we'll replace uh, replace this, I'm going to turn that off, replace the uh, turn slip indicator with an actual turn coordinator. So we can hover the mouse over it and the tooltip says instrument four. So I'm going to go to individual instrument four, which is this guy, I'm going to turn him off. So now it's blank. And now we can scroll through with the mouse wheel and see if we can find our turn coordinator, which should be instrument number, that one, 35, on. Now we turn it on, and we notice it's way down here by default. It started at 000 XYZ and tilt and rotation. So that's not very convenient. So what we can do, let's go back to instrument four, which was our turn and slip indicator. And we can copy. And so that's copying all the position data. Now we'll go back to instrument 35 and paste. And there we go. So now it has taken the, uh, the same spot. We can click and drag and fine tune it. So once we're happy, we can click Save Panel Preset. It'll ask if you want to overwrite. Yes, yes we do. And there we go, we have a new panel preset. Additionally, we can change the uh, Garmin's. If we go to a GPS slot one, it's a Garmin 530. We can turn that off if we don't want one. Uh, or we can use the mouse scroll, or sorry, click to sw swap it to the Garmin 430. And notice this says aircraft re uh, restart required to apply settings, um, and that's because there's some uh, files that have to be changed. So we would have to save the panel and then restart the aircraft, but then we'd have a pair of 430s instead of the Garmin 530. 
So this allows the panels to be very, very configurable, uh, which is really fun. I hope you all enjoy playing with it. Uh, I know we have, and we've made some wacky panel configurations. So can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, see you later.